today we're going to be talking about the fifth wave. Well, I really like this book. I would give it three Marias, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Three Amis. Well, maybe three and a half Amis. Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half Amis, I think. So seven total. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a really good book. It starts slow. You think, will this book mm. ever happen? But once it actually starts happening, it's like, oh my god. What is happening? Yeah. What What's coming next? I really liked it. I thought it was kind of scary. Like in the alien invasion kind of way because that's what it's, it, what it's about this book follows Cassie she's the main character well it, it's in different perspectives but the main character is Cassie really yeah and it's in a post-apocalyptic world we have like a small scenes of her past to see what happened to get them to that point and there's an alien invasion and humanity is struggling for survival and that's basically it really yeah her, the main point i think in the book is cassie and her brother are separated yeah and cassie well her brother is like five years old so and she's like 16 so she just really wants to get him back and she wants him to be safe in her arms and yeah, that's basically the point of the book. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Really, you should check it out. And if you didn't know, but you probably already knew, there's a movie too. And the movie, the movie is good. I mean, it's not, it's not oh. the best adaptation, no. but it's enjoyable. And now for the spoilers. Spoilery section, go away. <laughs> So Cassie, I, I really didn't I didn't really like her, to be honest. <laughs> She's not my favorite character in this book. Like I, I love everyone but Cassie. No, in fact, I love like every boy except No, I, I love the boys and I don't <laughs> love the girls. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> so there's Cassie and she's she's just kind of whiny. I don't know. She's like always in a drama. She, she makes everything be dramatic and about her. Yeah, I guess that's why I didn't like her. I was just like, oh, yeah, she's Cassie's really so good. annoying. I find some of her parts funny because she's really awkward. She's really weird. <laughs> she's really awkward and she has... She, she thinks very weird things. And, well, that, I found that funny. Yeah. And then there's my favorite character. <laughs> her brother. <laughs> Sammy is adorable. <laughs> He needs to be protected all he's the time. He's five years old. Yeah, I'm so glad Ben protected him. Yeah, he's a baby. Yeah. I love him. I love Sammy. Yeah, you just want to hug him. Yeah, like the whole book. <laughs> and <laughs> also my other favorite character, there's Evan. Evan is hilarious. <laughs> he's so weird. I, well, if you're in this part, you already know Evan is an alien. <laughs> but he's just like... He's in denial about it. He's just really funny. And he's perfect in everything except like human interaction. Yeah. Like he can bake, he can cook, he can cut he like trees. He can save Cassie from dying. Like he can do anything except talk to Cassie like yeah. a normal person. He's a, yeah, he's so weird. I mean <laughs> she has to go to the bathroom at one point, like to bathe. <laughs> And he just waits outside like he a creep. He outside the door. And she's like, are you there? <laughs> He's just like, yes. I would have pretended I'm not there. I would have been like, no. And He's like, go away. And he just stays there. I mean, she, she can see his like shadow. <laughs> He's so weird. He's yeah. hilarious. He's a strange person because he lived in... He lived on this planet like his whole life. And then all of a sudden he realized he was an alien. But now he's weird about it. He's a weird person. <laughs> he's hilarious. I love him. I I thought he was like so adorable. Like he's a dork and he's cute and I really liked him. Yeah. And then there's then Parish. Yeah, Parish. Who is Zombie? Zombie. Zombie. Yeah. Oh my god. He he was or is was Cassie's crush. crush. Like her whole life she loved him. And 
He's just really weird. <laughs> he really is a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he didn't die from the flu thing that killed everyone. Like, he got sick and he almost died and then he came back to life. That's why he's a zombie. But he's just really strange. Like, he was one of the popular boys who didn't really think for himself when the world was normal. Exactly. And now that the world isn't normal, he just, like, doesn't know what to do. To be honest, I thought this book, like, the way the aliens conquered the world was, like, the perfect way to make you, like, really paranoid. With everyone dying and then the birds and then the aliens that look like humans i was terrified i thought that was a perfect way to make people way. like go crazy it was like torture i think that's like the aliens are having some fun with us before they kill us all but it was it was cool it was really well thought all the, all the how they like started coming to earth um Like, for example, did, if you read The Host, the Host by Stephanie Mayer, like, you're gonna be reminded of that with this book because it's like a similar alien idea. Yeah, but it's better thought. One of the points of view in the book is Ben Parrish. And, I mean, I like the character, but I was very bored at his parts. I, re I, I really <laughs> wanted to skip them. Me too. I <laughs> wanted to skip them and go back to Cassie. Exactly, because I wanted to know what was happening to Cassie and something like really intense and interesting was happening and then suddenly we caught to Ben Parrish and you're like, And no. Ben Parrish is just like, I'm training. Exactly. I'm so. a military <laughs> man now. And then Ben Parrish like, likes this weird goth girl. I, I really didn't like that part. Like, why does he like the word weird goth girl? He's she. I think he just admires her because she's tough. Yeah. Her name is Ringer, and she's really tough. And I think Ben is like, oh, a tough girl. Yeah, he's like starstruck. I don't like that romance. It was like a weird romance, like pushed into the book. Like, I get that they're teenagers and that teenagers almost always like someone, but. I don't like Ringer. Why does Ben like her? I think I didn't like the romance between her and and Zombie because I wanted Zombie to be with Cassie even though Cassie was with Evan. I like. I, I wanted like... them both to be in love with her. <laughs> yeah, I know it's me because she's going to end up with just one of them and it's probably going to be Evan. Hopefully. <laughs> But still, I was like, no, you both need to be pining over Cassie. I wanted Cassie to be able to say like, no, Ben, I have someone better. Like, you never paid attention to me. I'm sorry. And Evan loves me, you know, so bye. Exactly. I wanted that to happen. I thought it was like a good young adult alien read. I haven't read much in this genre, but I think it was good. I, I liked it. I think it's a good introduction, maybe. Because now I want to read more books about aliens. The plot is interesting and it's terrifying. And I think if an alien really wanted to psychologically torture us, he should read this book and yeah. just do everything that they do there. Please tell us what you liked or disliked, or your favorite parts or quotes. Maybe you hate Evan, which yeah. is weird. Yeah, tell us one of the weird things of Evan you loved or hated. <laughs> Remember to hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. So, adios! <laughs> yeah. she, she's just like...